Now, believe it or not, today I'm going to be making music in Microsoft Excel. Now, I'm actually really excited about this video. I originally tried to do this like a year ago, but I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I couldn't get anywhere. But a couple of days ago, the absolute madman, Dylan Tall Chief, released a video about a drum machine that he made inside of Excel. And today I'm going to be using it to make some music. Now, because I am a little bit of a dummy, I highly recommend that you go and check out his original video. If you want to know how this all works, it's really interesting and it's absolutely insane. I'll leave a link to that down in the description. But anyway, let's make some music in Microsoft Excel. <laughs> <laughs> so here is the drum machine by Dylan Tall Chief. So from what I understand, this uses MIDI, so you can route it through Ableton FL Studio. So that means that you can use pretty much any samples that you want. You can use anything custom, which is really cool. But if you don't have FL Studio or Ableton or anything like that, it actually uses Windows default MIDI system, which has some really funky sounds. So I think while I try to figure out how this thing works, I might actually just be using the default sounds for now, and then I'll link it up to Ableton. We can start making some real music, but for now, Let's make a beat. So I think if we want a kick pattern, we can just go like that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's a horrible kick drum, but it is working. Mm. Let's put in a snare. Go one there and one there. <laughs> oh yeah. Excel. That is amazing. That is really good. It actually keeps in time, which is surprising. The first little beat is a little bit off, but apart from that, it is flawless. <laughs> now, is this going to be a closed hi hat? I'm guessing. It's a clap, but it works. Hey! <laughs> oh, this is good. What's this track here? Mm. That's horrible. <laughs> this actually works though, and it works surprisingly well. <laughs> oh, that is bad. <laughs> what am I doing? What are the rest of these sounds? Hey. <laughs> that actually works really well. I like that you can just use the arrows to go across, put in your X's, and that is where the beats are going to be. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yes. Put some claps in there. That works really well. I'm liking this. <laughs> Let's try speed it up. <laughs> it works. It's in rhythm. There's nothing wrong with that at all. What does a swing do? It actually sounds pretty decent. That is good. This is actually really speedy. Let's clear it and see how fast I can put together a really basic beat. Boom, 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 like that. Boom, boom. And shaker, that was seven, I think. That's speedy. Oh, that is good. <laughs> oh, Excel music making. This is actually better than some of the free online beat makers that I've played with before, which is really saying something about the quality of those. And if I'm being honest, it is even better than the older version of FL Studio, which I played with. I think it was FL Studio 2 point something. This is better than that. <laughs> and this is made for spreadsheets. Anyway, I think I've had enough of those default Windows MIDI sounds. Let's load up Ableton and start bringing in our own sounds. Now, the only sad thing is that because this is a brand new Windows install, I don't have any sounds loaded in at all. Well, I guess I could just load up one of these drum kits to start with, even though they're not the best. Should still get the job done. Oh, let's give that one a try. So it looks like it is linked up. Is this gonna work? No. <laughs> oh, we have a snare. That just means that all the other ones are in the wrong place. So it looks like this one here might be the kick drum. That is, that is definitely not the kick drum. And then go like that, and that should be it. Hey! That is fat. Let's get rid of that one. Go like that, get rid of you, and that should be it. Hey! There we go. 
That is a banger. Now, is the pitch going to work with Ableton? Let's give that a try. So if the default is 35, let's go 60. No. Does the pitch only work with FL Studio, maybe? Bleep. Blah, 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 and the enable, and we should be good to go. Why is it so pitch down? What's the default pitch? I can't remember. C5 is 60, okay. There we go. <laughs> Those good old default FL Studio drums. So now we should be able to go through and change the pitch of each hi-hat. So if we go a little something like that, then it's probably gonna sound ugly, but should be fine. That is very ugly. <laughs> What is going on there? Okay, so that makes it easier if I just change that to 60. That should make all the ones that don't have a label the same pitch. What? Wait, what's going on? Why don't we bring in some better samples? Those ones don't sound very good. <laughs> what am I doing? Should we good? What is that? Why is the... That's a snare. Should we just try out a straight up 808 kit? Hey. <laughs> Doesn't sound good, but it works. Now what would happen if I brought in a synthesizer? So let's just go like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is bad. Maybe put a bit of velocity in there. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Why don't we actually try and make something that sounds good? <laughs> Let's try to do a little bit of an arpeggio, like that. Hey, it actually worked. <laughs> what? I think that's the first time ever that something's actually worked when I tried it. And I think I just need to mess around with the velocities because that's a little bit strong. There we go, 70, 90, 70. Copy that over. Hey, now we're talking. Maybe let's change that, 75 and 74. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's try it out with some swing. Oh, I like that. That is working. <laughs> I forgot I forgot to change the drums. Yoink. <laughs> oh, that is good. Now we're going to need a real classic clap. I think that one there is pretty good. <laughs> Let's offset that one. That should work. Yeah, I'm liking that. Where's a hi-hat? Oh, of course. Gotta go with that. <laughs> it's a little bit loud. Let's turn down that velocity. Maybe we'll go for 90. That is perfect. That is really good. <laughs> now we need a bass. What is flex? Oops, I just changed the wrong synthesizer. <laughs> Bring that back. <laughs> oh yeah. And then we'll go to the next sequence. Get rid of that. And then for this sequence, we'll just pitch these ones up to, we'll go for, what do we go for? 70. <laughs> okay, go like that. And I think that should be the entire sequence. <laughs> oh, that works. Not sure about that bass sound though, but I can always swap that out later on. Oh. Yeah. Well, that sounds good. Let's put in some extra bass notes. Maybe we'll go for one there. We'll put this one up an octave. So we'll go for 
80 on the pitch. Change you to 70. 80. Four? And then we'll put one in here. We'll go for 87. That is looking pretty good. Let's have a listen to it. <laughs> Just go for 81 there and we should be done. I actually think that it's sounding really good. I think I have enough to finish off the final arrangement. So here's my finished song made with Microsoft Excel. Enjoy. So there we go, that is my song made with Excel. I actually really enjoy putting in all the sequences like this and I especially like doing the pitch with numbers. It's really fun. But anyway, as always, make sure to go ahead and let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments. And if you wanna check out the Excel drum machine for yourself, I'll leave a link to the original video by Dylan Tall Chief down in the description. There's also a download link in there and it shows you how to get it all up and running. But anyway, I'll see all of you in the next couple of days for my next upload. Thanks for watching everybody, bye.